Okay, third match. LLL Taco versus Jeff Meister. Another Sub Zero and an Ermac. I always like watching Ermacs. I hate playing them. I like I, I hate like uh, facing them because I have no idea what to do, and I just get caught by the 50/50s. But I I like watching them. Nice down four. Oh, uh, Taco drops, drops his combo. But otherwise, other than that, it's a really good start from Taco. That was a nice conversion. And now, Jumpmeister is in corner hell. Nice throw back into the corner. Oh, he drops it. That's not very good. That's not a good look for uh, Joff Meister. Nice way of not getting frozen. That was really tricky. Nice awareness. Oh, and the Ermac combos? Nope. I'm wondering if, if the uh, connection is bad because they're dropping a lot of stuff they shouldn't be dropping, like their BMBs. Oh, that was really tricky. <laughs> that was really nice by Joff Meister. Taco tried waiting him out and he just came down and did the air blast. Round two, fight. Nice conversion from Taco. Oh, tries to tro throw him back into the uh, clone. Doesn't work out. Taco's in trouble. This is looking grim. I will say that. Oh, the brutality. That was really convincing by uh, Joff Meister. Like, Taco had the the upper hand the first game but then it just went downhill Pay your respects. There is a new king. <laughs> Ooh, uh taco switching up going with kung lao i respect that i mean it wasn't really working out uh with sub I have no idea what the matchup is, Sub versus Ermac or Kung Lao versus Ermac, but I can imagine Kung Lao does better. And he has the epic Gaucho skin, so it's gonna work out fine. Oh, nice backdash. Finally, the first hit. But look at all the meter Taco built. Nice conversion. Very nice. This is looking a lot more solid from Taco. And it's not because his, uh, his Sub-Zero is bad in any way, it's just... He's looking a lot stronger in this matchup. Almost converted that. Oh, the Soul Ball. Let's see what Joff Meister can do. Gets caught by the Teleport. No hat. Ooh, very nice. Oh, he drops it. Oh, but the hat. It's so hard to get away from. Round two, fight. I have no idea if Lao is a counter pick, but I mean, it, it doesn't really look. It, it does look like Taco actually plays him. Like, it's not just desperate counter pick. Like, it looks like it, one of his characters. He clearly knows, knows what it's doing. And Joffmeister looks uh, a bit like lost or confused about what to do with the Kung Lao pressure. I guess the problem is that uh, Ermac doesn't really have any uh, armored combo starters. So even if he interrupts the string, there's not really much he gains from it. Ooh, that's punishable, but he drops the punish. Joffmeister has three bars, so uh, this is going to be it. 
not sure why he put him away from the corner. He could have kept the combo going and pushed him towards the corner. Ooh, nice start from Taco. And a break from Joffmeister. And the Kung Lao pressure. I always get caught by the teleport mix-up. <laughs> then again, I'm a scrub, so that might be why. Oh, very nice conversion. I'm impressed. Well done by uh, Joffmeister. But gets caught, caught by the spin. Unfortunately, Taco doesn't keep him in the corner. Nice backdash from Taco. Ooh, it looks like... Oh, wait, wait. I might have spoken too soon. Oh, wait. It looks like Taco will take it. Yeah, I was suspecting that grab. Joffmeister should have it as well, but it's hard when you're like in the middle of it all and you're you're waiting to finally break the, the game-winning combo and they go for a grab instead. That was a good game. Uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to put uh, zero respect. I'm sorry. Um, it seems that the switch to Kung Lao really worked out. Might be Kung Lao, might be the epic costume. I'm thinking the latter. Joffmeister sticks with Ermac. I'm kind of glad he does. Uh, as I said, I like watching Ermacs. And he wasn't doing too bad. He just seemed like a bit confused about switching from fighting Sub-Zero to fighting Kung Lao. Yeah. Fight. LLL Taco is a really nice Kung Lao. Which I haven't seen before. But I'm glad I get to do it now. That's so annoying that Kung Lao can basically... Anytime you jump, he will spin you for a full combo. Although Taco dropped it. The hat is out. And the teleport. No conversion from it. Who drops the link. Now he gets it. Looks like Joffmeister is trying to save his meter for next round. We'll see about it now. Now that he gets a corner combo. Those hurt. Oh, he goes for the full damage. 50%. Oh, that was really nice. But it looks like Taco might close it out here. No, wait a second. I spoke too soon again. A break from Taco. Well, at least he got the break from him. Oh, that was really nice. Taco gets it, but he wasted two bars on the breaker. Well, he didn't waste them, but he had to use two bars. So that's a good situation for Joffmeister, who has almost three bars. Uses one for the wake-up, but drops the combo. <laughs> that was tricky. Yeah, that 50% combo was juicy. I haven't seen it before, I was impressed. I've seen the 45% meterless, so I guess this was just the max damage one. Jeffmeister is looking strong this round, but gets caught by Taco. And those combos hurt, 37%. And now he's in the corner versus Lao, that's... Ooh, that was so tricky. And he puts him back towards the corner, really nice. Really nice by Joffmeister. This is such a close game. It's really hype. And it's only the third game of the, uh, the tournament. Nice armor by Taco, but it doesn't run under. I feel he should have, but he gets on the other side anyways. Drops the combo, the ender at least. Uh, ends up on the corner side again. I don't agree with that. Let's see, Joffmeister. Oh, he goes for a reset in the, in the corner, but puts himself in the corner. That's super risky. Not only is the teleport punishable, but he also put himself in the corner. And he's paying for it now. Yeah. I, I feel uh, that risk was not worth it. Oh, <laughs> the disrespect by Taco. That was a really hype match. Uh, and it goes to Taco. He moves on on the winner's side.